Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to run HTML to PDF with .NET on Azure. So in this tutorial we're going to explore HTML to PDF conversion with .NET on Azure and C Sharp using the Iron PDF library. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 but you can use any version you'd like. The latest is always recommended though. So first I'm going to create an Azure function project using the HTTP trigger. And once you have it set up like mine, then click Create. So the completed task comes with a default template containing a class and Azure function. And remember here we're using Azure without Docker. So now we're going to replace the function code with our HTML to PDF code. And once that is done, you'll need to install the Iron PDF library in the project. I have already installed it but you can install it using the NuGet package manager or download directly from the NuGet website. So the project we're using here is a .NET 3 framework project. Iron PDF supports the latest versions of the .NET framework. And we'll then call the Iron PDF header with the using Iron PDF function. And we're going to build and run our project to see if the function works. And this will give us a follow-up link, which is displayed in the return message at the end of our code. And that proves that the process worked properly. So we'll go ahead and run the project. Okay, so now we'll proceed to deploy our project on Azure. So to do that, right click on your project and then in the Solution Explorer, click on Publish. And then on the Publish menu, you select Azure, then choose the Azure service uh, for hosting your application. So in my case, I use the Azure app service. On the next page, you're gonna log into your Azure account or create one if you don't have one already. And then you are uh, going to select your subscription name and the view, which in my case, the view is resource group. Then you have to create an app service instance by clicking on that green cross. Under the app service window, select the resource group and set your hosting plan by clicking on the new button next to the hosting plan drop down menu. In the case of this project, uh, we're going to use the B1, which is the minimum, minimum case that we can use. And once this is done, ensure that the run from uh, package file is unchecked. And after that, you can click Finish. And your project will then be done for you on Azure. So there you go. You just created your Azure project file. If you scroll down to the hosting block, you'll find a link to your newly created Azure website where you can view your deployed project. We'll scroll up and click Publish. And once our project has been published on Azure, we can move uh, to the Azure portal. We'll click on the App Services to view our project. Click on the project on the left and click on the Functions tab. The Functions tab then opens up the name of your project. So in our case, it's uh, Print PDF. Click on the function name, then click on the Get Function URL button at the top. Copy the URL, and then paste it into your browser. And there you go. You just performed an HTML to PDF conversion on Azure. It's really simple and easy with Iron PDF. 
and looks great. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. And as always, our support team is standing by ready to assist.